Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. I'm going to be dealing with the judgment of God from past and coming. And we see that we see the, the judgment of God is very important when we look at the Bible. A lot of people mention that the coronavirus is a judgment, but coronavirus is not a judgment because judgment cannot be made by man. It can be made by God because God is invisible. God is not a man. God is not a woman. So we see the judgment of God. And the first judgment we see is the judgment of Adam and Eve. How Adam and Eve was given responsibility of the Garden of Eden. And Eve got deceived by the serpent. And that's in Genesis uh, our third chap chapter, verse 14 through 24. So they got kicked out of the garden. And the garden was guarded by cherubim. The second judgment we see is, is uh, the flood. How God told uh, Noah, because Noah was a righteous man, and God gave Noah the responsibility of building the ark. He glory to God. And then how God sent a worldwide flood. And that's in Genesis 7, chapter verse 7 through 24. And on the eighth soul, were saved and animals two by two and the birds seven and third judgment we see is a is a is a judgment of the tower of babel bow um that after this is the the, the north post flood descendant to remain in one location in the fence of god commandment so god confused their language that's in Genesis 11, chapter verses 9 through 5 through 9. Amen. Now, this is the next judgment, the judgment of four, the judgment of Egypt and, and their gods. That how the children of Israel was in the land of Egypt and how God told Moses to tell Pharaoh, let my people go. So this was the seven, the seven plague judgment. And then the seven plague judgment, the last judgment, was when God slayed the firstborn of the Egyptian. And then uh, Pharaoh let the children of Israel go. And that was a that, that was a judgment of the of the gods. The ten plague judgment. You want to see the next one? The judgment of believers, sin. Isaiah 53, 4 to 8. Jesus Christ took the judgment upon himself by crucifixion and death. So these are the, the five judgment that's already occurred. The judgment of Adam and Eve, the judgment of the flood, the judgment of the Tower of Baal, the judgment of the Egyptian God, and, and the believer sin when Jesus Christ died on the cross for mankind. Now we see the future judgment now. The future judgment, he brought to God, is how God going to judge the world. Now the future judgment is the judgment of the tribulation period. This is in Revelation 6 to 6, 16. Amen. And the judgment seat of Christ. Now this is, this is the resurrection or the resurrector or the rapture believers. Amen. And the next one is the judgment of the nation, uh, the sheep and the goats. And this is, this is uh, after the tribulation. And also, glory to God, we see the judgments of angel. Where Paul say that believers are going to judge angels. That's in uh, 1 Corinthians 6 chapter, verse 2 and 3. Paul say that Christian will judge angel. Now the last judgment we see going to be the, the great white throne judgment. Now this is the final judgment. And this judgment is uh, 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 Revelation 20 chapter, verse 11 through 15. So let's let's look at that one. Let's look at the final right throne judgment. Now this is a, this is the final judgment, and this is a judgment of for the sinner, for those that reject Jesus Christ, for those that uh, didn't want to get saved, for those that like people like uh, uh, atheists that does not believe in God. So these people are gonna be judged and. See, God judge, 
judgment is just and right and righteous. And go take out when 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 Christ judge us, he judge us according to his standard. So can we read in Revelation the twelfth chapter? So we, we saw the five judgments that have taken place. The first judgment was 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 Adam and Eve. The second one was the Noah judgment. The third one is a Tower Baal. And the fourth one was a judgment of the Egyptian and godless. And the fifth one was a judgment of believers' sin, which is got a judgment upon himself by crucifixion and death. Now we we won't talk about the last judgment, which would be a white throne judgment. Uh and to God. Now the judgment of the angels and the judgment of the nation and the judgment of Christ and the judgment of tribulation period. But I'm going to deal with just the last judgment upon the earth. Where this is a judgment of the sinner. If you are a sinner, if you are if you're a person that reject Christ and you're watching this video, this video is very important to understand the judgment of God. God's judgment is just and righteous. God is the judge. Hey, glory to God. We're going to judge the angel, but God is a, is a judge to judge all mankind. So we see that in, in Revelation 12 chapter, hey, glory to God. Now, I'm going to say this, that in Revelation 12 chapter, and, and they say, I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the soul of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus Christ and for the word of God and and had had not worship the beast neither his image neither and receive his mark upon their forehead and in their right hand and they live and reign with christ a thousand years now listen now but the the rest of the dead lived not again until a thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection and they blessed and holy is he that had part of the first resurrection and on such the second death has no power but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and they shall reign with him a thousand years. Now, Satan gonna be Satan gonna be released from prison, and the Bible says, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of prison, and shall go out to deceive the nation which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog. And this is this is this is mentioned in in, in Ezekiel the thirty-eighth chapter, verse two, Magog to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea and they went up out of the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints up about the beloved city and fire came down from god out of heaven and devoured him listen now and the devil that deceived them were cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw, now this is the white throne judgment now. And I saw a white throne and him that sat on it from who faced the earth and the heaven fled and there was found no place for them so they can't hide. They're going to be judged by God and they cannot hide. Why they can't hide? Let me say that, right? And I saw the, the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open. Another book were open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their work. So it's a book of it's a book of life and a book of works. Verse thirteen, and the sea gave up the dead. Who gave it? And the sea gave up the dead. So those the folks that died in the sea gave up the dead, which were in it, and death and hell will deliver up the dead which were in them, and they will judge every man according to their works. So if you look at it, the only way there's, there's an exit in hell is when they're going to be judged. So you in hell, you can be resurrected from hell, you'll be judged, amen, according to their works. And death, what? Death is a spirit. Death and hell were cast in the lake of fire. This is the second death. So the first death is a physical death. The second death is, is the lake of fire. So if you're watching this video and you're not sure about the judgment of God, the judgment of God is just. Justice. 
God, God have a book of remembrance and God have a book of works and God have a book of life. I have a video, the book called, I had a video, a channel called the book of life. Hey, glory to God. And, and verse 15 say, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life were cast into the lake of fire. So if individual are wondering what is the judgment of God? The judgment of God, what I've mentioned in the past judgment, the present judgment, and the future judgment. Hey, glory to God. So this right throne judgment is God going to judge man works and judge if your name is in the book. If your name not in the book, you'll be cast in the lake of fire. You'll be tormented day and night. Hey, glory to God. Now, after the judgment, now, after the judgment of the sinner, hey, glory, the white throne judgment, then John, in verse, in chapter 21, it says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth was passed away, and there was, was found no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, a door for her husband. So the bride is the church, and the, and the bridegroom is Jesus Christ. So if you are a church, if you are a church, you're a bride. He glory to God. That's why he said that. He that's why he stated that that we are we are the bride of Christ. Amen. We are the bride, and Jesus Christ is the bridegroom. So the judgment of God is justice. So if you're watching this video and you're not sure about the judgment of Christ, it's all it's all in the Bible. And God, history repeats itself. And the only way history repeats itself is a people that does not know their history. History is his story. It's not a history of black people. It's not a history of white people. It's a history of, according to God. Because God is the main character. Amen. God, have, in the Old Testament, he he written it. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ came back to fulfill it. So if you're watching the video, and a lot of people say that coronavirus is a judgment of God, and that we are in the judgment, we all have missed, have, we have missed the opportunity to be raptured from earth to heaven. Amen. Because if, if we look at the judgment, of that occur. Let's talk about the judgment of Son of Gomorrah. God sent his angels and the angel went to Lot's house and the angel told Lot, get your family out because God will destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And it's, it, it, they seem as one that mock it. Now Lot's have two daughters and his two daughters were married. Because they say, do you have your son? Go tell your son-in-law. And a son-in-law seemed to them that sound as mockery. And they didn't want they, they didn't want to leave Son and Gomorrah. So four left Son and Gomorrah. But instruction was not to look back. And by the wife of Lot looked back, she turned a pillar of salt. And then Lot and his two daughters went to the mountain. And then they escaped. And there was there, and there was preserved. Now Lot and his two daughters thought that they was the only one upon the earth. So they seduced their father to drink wine, got drunk, and they have incest. And they go to God, preserve their nation by having sex with their father. And then the Ammonites came into this world. So the judgment of God is just, my friend. If you're watching this video and you're not sure about the judgment of God, I can give you the scriptures again on the new judgment, on, on the future judgment. Hey, glory to God was the judgment to occur in the future with Revelation, the sixth chapter, verse 16. That's the judgment of the tribulation period. The judgment of the seed of Christ is 2 Corinthians 5, chapter, verse 10. And the judgment of the nation uh, with a sheep and a goat. Uh, Matthew the twenty the twenty fifth chapter verse thirty one and forty six after tribulation and the judgment of angel where Paul said Christian will judge angel that's First Corinthians six chapter verse two and three and also the white throne judgment what I read was Revelation the twentieth chapter verse eleven through fifteen now this is 
the judgment of God. And God's judgment is just and right in the name of Jesus Christ. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being my, my uh, member. And for those that are not, I'd be glad for you to become a member. And thank you for watching Life Journey. Glory to God International. Until then, may God bless you, which is my prayer. Peace.